Hey y'all, today we're gonna make loaded grits. And uh, grits is a southern thing. I don't think you can get them like in California and stuff, but I could be wrong. But anyway, uh, they kinda uh, have a texture like it sounds. They're kinda gritty. But if you season them good with things you like, I feel like they're really good. So we are just gonna get started. The, I use the quick grits, the five minute grits, I think is what it's called. I'm gonna take you down to the pot and I just cut it on. And to that, I'm gonna add one cup of water and one cup of milk. You can add all water or you can add all milk if you want them uh, real creamy you can add all milk I like mine with uh, milk and water so then we are gonna um, Wait for that to come to a boil, which won't take but just a minute. And we're gonna add our grits. And I had to put my grits in an oatmeal container because I had bought a bag of grits in the bag tour. So I like to do three fourths liquid, one fourth grits. So here is what they look like dry. And they'll be ready in just a second to add to our liquid. And uh, most people, I think, just add butter and salt and pepper, which is really good. But sometimes it's good to doctor them up a little bit and they're really good that way. So I'm just waiting on this water to come to a boil. And because the milk was cold, it's gonna take just a little bit longer than, than it normally would with just water. So I hope everybody is doing great today, enjoying their day. Mine's been a good day, thank goodness. And I'm sorry it's taking so long for the milk and water to heat up, but I see it steaming now, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the grits and give those a stir and you need to keep a good eye on these and stir them often until they're as thick as you want them or they'll burn and stick on the bottom and they won't be good And I think a medium thickness, not too thin, not too thick, is good for these. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and stir these. It'll take a couple minutes, and when they're um, the right thickness, I will come back and we'll finish them up. So this cooked for probably three to four minutes, and it's got a really good um, thickness to it. So now what I'm gonna do is add salt and pepper to it. And in, uh, in my opinion, you need a lot of salt. Just stir that up. And 
Now, take your bowl, and I'll have to do it over this way so I don't burn the bowl. But I'm gonna put a little bit in the bowl. Then I'm gonna put a slice of cheese, a little bit more in the bowl, another slice of cheese, and then put the rest. Next, I'm going to put some butter, and grits need a lot of butter. So I'm putting, I guess, about two tablespoons. Then, I always use the tame jalapenos, but for some reason, I let myself run out. So I'm going to use the regular jalapenos. And then I'll top it off with bacon bits. It's better if you have real bacon. But this is what I had for now. And so this is loaded grits. And they are delicious. And I hope that you give them a try. And I hope that you enjoy them. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.